Hi guys, it's Q from Electricus Auto Visual. Um, I hope you're all well and having a good day. I promised, or I put a poll out yesterday to say um, if you'd like for us to do a run through on our smart home project that we're currently working on in Highgate. So, yeah, here is what we've been up to. Um, thanks guys for joining. Um, so, yeah, basically, just I said yesterday, I put a poll out yesterday to talk about. Um, our smart home pre wire that we've been working on. On this one, we've carried out all the electrical installation, the security, um, and also the lighting design, as well as doing the AV cabling and infrastructure for networking, uh, intercom, CCTV, etc. So let's just do a little run through of what we've been doing. Let's see if I can flip my camera. So in this room here, we're in the master bedroom. Uh, in the master bedroom, over there is going to be. Uh, the bedside and where the bedside is going to be we're going to have uh, some wall bedside lights that are independently controlled so for his and hers and then with a switch going left and right of the bed so they can literally automate from this room any scene that they'd like or even just do a house off um, in here we've got uh, a center light going in um, perimeter spots I hate putting spots over the bed so we never put spots over the bed because it just become annoying in the morning if you turn everything on. Uh, the dressing, like like a little dressing table is going to go here. We always ask where the clients, if they're right-handed or left-handed because hair dries and stuff, if they want to plug something in, we put a socket just down there and then just some lights over there just to give them a bit more illumination. In here is going to be the uh, master ensuite. In the master ensuite, we've got obviously functional lighting being spotlights because it's nice and bright, um, some music, for when they're having a shower or a bath and then either side of the mirror which is going there um, we've got two wall lights just for illumination and then here we've ran a oops sorry here is going to be a demister pad and then the shaver socket low level so we run that in free core because sometimes clients change their minds and with that we found that when people change their minds, they might ditch the wall lights and want to have, uh, say, a, a mirror light that's got a sensor switch on it. So running a free core gives us the flexibility to have it, whether it's switched or unswitched. And that's also running back to our lighting panel. Um, spin back. So then uh, we're going to go into the hall, uh, one of the other bedrooms. This one's just a basic bedroom, just got some spotlights. And then, because it's not having a TV, we always pre-wire anyway for video distribution. So here we've got our Cat 6A, which we'll use for video distribution, our coax, and then three Cat 6 cables that will be used for um, networking or say a Control 4 device if they're gonna have it later, or multiple data points if they need it for hardwired connections or a Wi-Fi booster. So we've pretty much done that in every room here, so we've done the same thing down there. Then here we're gonna have like a recessed, the bed's gonna go across there, and then recess is back with some shelving going up. And then we've allowed some provisions for some uh, shelving lighting if we need to. And then if I run upstairs, this is pretty cool space. So we're in the loft now. And then on the loft we have done basically a center chandelier that will shine all the way down so we'll have a hanging light there and then with a bit of arty work we've allowed some wall lights here and there so over there and these are all links that can run all the way down to the ground floor the reason why we've done that is because um it's a mood right so for a nighttime scene or just for effect when you're walking up the stairs rather than just having the chandelier on um just to shine some light straight down the wall illuminate the textures of the wall because I believe this is going to all be um, wallpapered and yeah we just create a nice little mood because it's quite a big space as well we've put in a couple of extra spots going there as well just to illuminate this section here and yeah and then we've got a little bathroom so the loft bathroom again wired the same way we've got our LED strip feed, feed here ready for a niche that's going to go in now all our LEDs, we always do them on um, 1 to 10 volt dimming rather than mains dimming 
because we believe, or well, I've found over the years that mains dimmable LEDs aren't great on dimmers and you can't really get them as low as what you'd like them sometimes. So every LED strip in this house is going to be controlled by a 0 to 10 volt dimming. And then on the ground floor, which we haven't started yet, but we're going to start next week, um, we're going to have like a formal living space. In the formal living space, um, we're going to have some spotlights, a centre light, and then there's going to be a picture rail going along the top, following all the way around the room, and it will finish at the windows. In, within that, we're going to put an LED tape, just sort of, rather than doing coffered ceilings, um, we want to try and keep the functionality of it being a Victorian type home. So illuminating that, they're going to have some nice um, coving as well, so we'll illuminate the coving as it comes up. and. Yeah, it'll just create a nice mood at night. There'll also be some table lamps going in the corners. So lots of different options with the scenes in there. Here we've got all our cables. Sorry, one second. Here, these cables here are gonna end up going over there because in there is gonna be our rack room. So that's where all the video devices like your skyboxes, your Apple TVs, etc., will be going in there and then down there these are just all of our lighting cables and like sockets and stuff where we're going to have our lighting panels going across there and there and then returning and then our fuse board which will be fed from over there so that's where our lighting panel is going to be so yeah if you guys got any questions i'll be happy to answer them here now on the messages so just drop them and yeah thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed um, our Instagram live.